Alright, so they replaced the mainspring. I'm like, you know, how long does a wine last? You don't wanna you're kinda of fearful, oh overwinding it, you don't wanna do that either. So when I first got this I gave it I don't know, like six, seven wines it lasted a couple of hours or whatever. And uh Yesterday I wound it to the point where, you know, you can, you can tell it's getting, getting, and I'm winding it slow because there's a little cog in there, a little gear that winds it up, a ratchet. And there's a point where you can tell that's it, that's it. So it ran for a good 12 hours and it was still running. So I'm like, okay. So this morning I, you know, I don't know how many turns, it's maybe a half a turn. So it took about 20 half turns. It still had some life on the main spring, so. But uh, these typically, from what I've researched and read, you have to wind them about once a day. I guess real expensive ones might last, you know, 48 hours. But you, know, you see in the old movies, the guys are like, you know, they're pulling their pocket watch out, they're checking the time with another clock, and they're winding them, and that's why. This is, you know, this is the technology of 100 years ago, so. But, um, in terms of comparing in 12-hour shifts with, like, my quartz watch, it's, they regulated it. The guys who rebuilt this did a really neat job, so. Pretty neat. Wind once a day. Wind it slow, but wind it complete. 